the whole goal is to tag it onto the onto the underside. State partners are planning a sting operation using tiny radio transmitters to save Guam's pollinators. The threat? Greater banded hornets, an invasive pest that have made Guam home since they were first spotted nearly a decade ago. The Guam Department of Agriculture is teaming up with seasoned experts from Washington State. That same team successfully tracked and eliminated so-called murder hornets in three years. Washington State, uh, they gave us this voucher specimens and that was about five years ago. Now they're going to come out and help us and, um, and do the same methods that they, that they used when they eradicated uh, northern giant hornet in Washington state. Inside Agriculture's Biosecurity Lab in Tizen, Guam State Entomologist Christopher Rosario gives a demonstration. How the heck are we going to tag a hornet that is alive? Yeah. One method is to stick the live hornet into a vial and put it into a freezer to knock it out. Throw it in a cooler of ice. Wait about two minutes. Pick it back up. And then it should be it should be laying down like this, but sleeping. Once the transmitter is glued on, they'll use towers to track its every move. Like before the hornet grabs a bee, like where does it go? Does it does it go fly straight back to its nest, or does it go to a tree and starts mauling onto the bee? These are some questions that we wanted answers long time ago when it first came, or when it when the tax first came out and then hunt them back to their nests for research and ultimately eradication. But safety first, field technician Ryan Cepeda gets suited up in a new hornet suit. So these suits are going to allow us to extract a hornet's nest during the day. The hornet stings longer and stronger than a honeybee and can pierce through a regular bee suit. They'll keep stinging until they feel like, you're uh, they feel like you've had enough. Yeah. And if someone is allergic to insect stings and all that, that can be very uh, fatal. Have you been stung before by a hornet? Yes. <laughs> How would you describe the pain? Uh, agony. Uh, just depending on, like, the first, the first time I got stung, it was uh, mm -hmm. kind of shocking because it was on my back and it kept stinging me for about two minutes. The state partners will be on Guam to train local officials for about three weeks in August. In the meantime, Rosario says with the rainy weather, the community could be seeing more hornets as they take cover in dry places like inside homes and garages. If you see a hornet in your yard, report it. We'll send out our Washington State team as well as us to go out and see if we can track it back to its nest. Matsuki Hirayama, KUEM News.